here in Vista, California, where this facility is at, we have a 60,000 square foot facility here. It's in uh, a beautiful building that we have here. We have great offices and great staff. One of the unique things about the two different types of wheels we make are really what they're made from and how they are made. We brought our casting facility back here to the U.S. and it is unique in that aspect because every facility that I'm aware of is moving to China. We make a lot of custom wheels for people for charity events and we custom engrave people's names and stuff like that and we don't have those options whenever we are ordering by the container from other countries. Making it here in-house we can change the design of the wheel on the fly, make the change and it's in production within days instead of it being three or four months down the road. The cast wheel comes from a uh, 356 aluminum. It's just a raw ingots that we get in. It looks like big bricks. And we take those and melt them down in the furnace and we end up with a big pot or a crucible full of molten aluminum that's at 1400 degrees. But it pretty much is just a, a melted pot of aluminum that we take a crucible, we pour it into the casting machine. It's held by a, a heated crucible. And then we take dry air and basically inject the aluminum into a mold. We take that then and we x-ray every wheel to make sure there's no holes in it uh, inside the material. Because you're working with a cast material, it's very porous, can leak, so we have to check for those for safety issues also. The spun aluminum wheels are done considerably different. We start with a uh, just a sheet of raw aluminum that's in a uh, soft, very soft state and we spin it against tooling and we make halves. All your spun wheels are start off as halves of wheels that we spin into whatever design we want. Then heat treat it and we'll weld it and it gets powder coated. Some of the stuff at DWT that we're really proud of and it really is what separates us from everybody else is that you know we take the time, it costs a little more but we heat treat it in house. We do everything in house with the wheel. If you buy wheels that seem cheap that's exactly what you're getting because they usually use a work hardened aluminum so the aluminum is still hardening as you use it you hope that you don't bend it and that it will get harder when our wheel leaves the factory when you have a DWT wheel that leaves the factory it's as hard as that aluminum will ever get we spend the time to use quality material to actually make a wheel that it will hold up when you have people like John Natale and Josh Frederick and Joel Hattrick and pretty much every uh, fast racer on the planet that are doing things that these ATVs are never designed to do, um, the last thing you want is to have a wheel that folds over and, and gets somebody hurt. So we're proud of the fact that we make them, we're proud of the fact that we uh, design them, we're proud of the fact that we test them, and not only that, we're proud of the fact that we race them.